I'm in, boys. Okay. Defeat the His Corrupted Tamasi. Okay, we have knocked him. He is going to throw things at us, which means we should crouch. Careful. Just be a little careful. That, that was not as careful as we could have been. He dodges twice. Get your energy back. Just get your energy back. Don't forget about the health shards. Don't forget about the health shards. Whoops. Tomasi? Katamari? There he is! <laughs> Great shot. I can't even be mad about that one. You see the snap? He pre-fired me. Hopefully the reload here, though, will save us uh, from the R3. Maybe if you crouch behind low cover. Look, he's done it. Saved. Hold on. We're on dead letters. Okay, we can find our way back. This is a good test, okay? So we just got this save point. We go through the communications department. Fight a couple of basic mobs. No big deal. Yeet that guy into the stratosphere. And proceed to the mailroom. If anybody wants a piece of this, get ready. I found a fossilized crap in Animal Crossing. Are you talking about the, the coprolite fossil? Because I found one of those and I was like... My Latin is not so good, but I, I think copro means poopy. Incredible dodge. Can't even be mad. Take low cover. Yeet the ads. You know what this reminds me of? Surprising absolutely nobody. This feels a lot like Remnant. Not the game, just this specific boss fight. Hey! It's a little dicey. Let's hide and then go pick up that HP. Yeet, 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 yeet. He's on phase two, boys. Get ready. Get low, get low. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. He's done it? Perhaps he's done it? Not too, it's just like an Isaac fight. No big deal. He'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. You hear that? 
You hear that? What's going on over here? Is that just my... It's probably just the save point <laughs> making noise. Alright. Find the hotline. Probably just the wind. Oh, to the hotline chamber, perhaps. She do be running, though. I have it on a high authority that she do be running, though. Whoops. <laughs> The only way forward is up. Wrong way? It's only the wrong way if you're trying to speed run. Look at that. We got ourselves access to the lockdown distinctions. Pay attention, Alberto. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all the sections off. I know it's confusing, but blah, 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 blah. Get a copy editor! This is dry as hell. Uh, Minkus? Whoa, 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 Okay. One ability point received. I thought I could jump on the desks and, and parkour through it. Hello. Give me your health shards, please. Thank you very much. Hello. Be cool, be cool. That's just a distraction. What a simple distraction. Oh, nice punch. No! <laughs> if she was left-handed, we would have been fine. It's because she's a righty. I should have swapped shoulders. Left-handed brain versus right-handed arm. Lefties rise up. I am a lefty. I am. I find that being left-handed is much easier than having to develop a personality. Don't worry about the load times, because we're not going to die after this. The load times don't matter if you don't die. Take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all of that you show up inside the U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? Well, something tells me Tomasi wasn't really a good guy to begin with. The hotline can't be far now. Why do you pronounce it so weird? What's his... How do you pronounce it? I ain't ever met a Tomasi. Okay, I can just call him Tom. A.K.A. Corn Pop. Listen. He's a bad dude. Not worried. Hotline chamber. 
Beep, 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 beep. You knew it was gonna happen. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. I'm in. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't know there was a square button there. I just wanted to see what would happen. I just wanted to know. You just had to crouch there? That wasn't a death. That was just a... You know, it's like when you die at a seat. Like, you have to die at that point. So it doesn't count as a death. Aim for the bushes. You lose 10% of your money every time you die? It's not your fault, okay? But just knowing that's in the game has made me a little angry. Specifically because so far the game is so like cinematic and artful. All right, take this down. It's like it's really immersive. They do a really good job of like building tone. And they're like, by the way, when you die, you lose 10% of your net worth. And you're like, Okay, don't do it this time. Don't do it this time. Screw you. Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. Stand here. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Pull it again. Pull it again. Whoa. Have we been here before? You gotta pull it three times. That's what the law of three means. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, with the pyramid. The radar. This feels like You're not even trying. All of them. Like something recognized. You're just hitting the knob with your hand. At least tr give it like a quarter turn. Slap it a knob. Hello? Anyone here? Hector Salamanca. The rule of three applies. Look at me, Hector. Ding. Cannot be done. Every ring opens a different door. Yo. Key You're absolutely has a right. Black pyramid on it. Absolutely right. And yet I still solved it the fastest. What a world. Okay, I'm in. Magneto escaped by using the iron in the blood of his only guard. Rebecca Romaine Stamos smuggled in ball bearings inside of a souffle. Complete the astral plane challenge. Don't mind if I do. But you mind if I take it at a leisurely pace like this? Just like that. Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Watch that first step. It's a doozy. It's 
excuse me. All right. So when it said it allows you to contact extra dimensional uh, entities, I thought you just walk up to it and like press circle and it would speak to you. That's not the case. They didn't say they were friendly. Well, I just assume friendliness. Um, I like to believe the, the, the best in people. Instead, just drop it. Cannot be dropped. He's coming. Dunk a dunk a dunk 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 dunk. Hello. Look at that. Kiln of the first flame skip. Kiln skip. In case you're unaware, by the way, the hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities well dialed director oh that was actually not difficult at all it is a phone it's an object of power found the millennial it doesn't connect to any typical network a direct line to the astral plane and the board and my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well oh you mean like out of state Long distance? A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I, I get the like idea that's literal. People. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. It is Max Payne, isn't it? I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get she do Emily. be bleeding though. CEO of bad nosebleeds. People react strongly when I tell them about Yo. It. Oh, I thought we could send one Is of the nomadic too soon tubes. To tell Emily, she might be able to Butt help. supplement. What is this? Kim Kardashian's autobiography. <laughs> uh Boo. Uh, Stan Taylor? Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. What a wonderful phrase. I believe I went I the wrong way. You can't just blindly repeat stuff you heard on TikTok. I didn't hear this on TikTok. This is on Twitter. You thought it was 14-year-old Zoomers, but actually it's like 35-year-old Midwestern ants. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Whatever you say. 
You can say it aunts or aunts. This is it. It's kind of a pressure point for me because uh, when I taught English in South Korea, like the nine-year-old Korean kids would try to correct my pronunciation. I'd be like, you know, this is your uncle, this is your aunt. And then one of them would be like, teacher, don't you mean aunt? And I'm like, no, just because the last teacher was from England doesn't mean we pronounce things that way. Hello, sir. Teacher, don't you mean Lori? May I? It does matter. England created English. They also destroyed it. As far as I'm concerned, only Canada and New Zealand are keeping it alive. All other major world powers that speak English are endeavoring to destroy it on a on an hour by hour basis. Emily, have you returned here? Are you in the boardroom, Emily? She Jesse, is. Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Are you Sorry. okay? Jeez, you just I just got in. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. This is negotiating tactic number seven of 500. Don't sit in the chair. If you sit in the chair, they've already beaten you. Stand on the table. And then when they say, can I take a seat? You go, no, I'd rather stand. And they'll go, there's plenty of chairs, plenty of open chairs. You go, no, I just don't feel like it. Why are you being weird? I got the hotline. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I can make out what Judge is saying now. Incredible. Sorry, I just wanted to pause this to tell another anecdote. Um, this actually happened to me at a uh, at a regional chess tournament when I was like 13. Not the events of control, that would be absurd. But uh, my first opponent, round one, I was sitting down waiting for him. I was like 12. And then he came by and like picked the chair up and moved it and stood over the board. And I was like, you know you can sit down, right? And he's like, I don't want to. I think it was like an intimidation technique or something like that. And I beat his ass. Like, wasn't even close. That's actually some of the proudest I've ever heard my dad speak of me. He was like, I'm really glad you beat that kid in round one. Because he was trying some kind of weird power move. Anyway. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss. Maybe gone. he just had Dumas, hemorrhoids. He He's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. She's probably fine. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. Thanks, game I mean, designers. I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. I was told there would be no math. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. 
Man, this is really how boomers think the job market still works, right? Walk in, apply for the job as janitor's assistant. 90 minutes later, you're the director. 